What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Give me some story time, music demo. So earlier this morning, I got a notification on my WhatsApp. Give me a sound effect, please. And that came from the big bro, Solo TV 84 And he hit me up and he says, Take music! Lil Wayne married a BBW Latina, and guess who's mad? Title for your next viral video. Can I get a, oh my God, sound effect? Oh my God! So I was kind of waking up and I was kind of sleepy and, you know, you know, stop the show. You know, you niggas from America always calling me in the middle of the night. Y'all forgot I am many, 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 many hours ahead of you. Stupid! Well, why you niggas are doing that? I have no idea. But anyways, that's what happened. And I checked out, you know, the information about what's going on with our guy, Little Wayne. And as it turns out, there is some, some rumor to this that points out that he married his longtime girlfriend, Denise Bidet, um, in a small ceremony in Los Angeles. Now, it's something to show. They have been on and off dating for the last four years, but it was like kind of short lived, right? And then he got with another lady that was, um, a BBW, she was like white, and so little Wayne went back to Denise, and then um, you see this particular uh, Twitter post he puts there, take music! Happiest man alive, today is the beginning of our forever, 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 ever, forever, ever, the Carters. Now, I think some sisters are a little bit upset with this, okay, because you know, people say Lil Wayne's on drugs, which <laughs> which Lil Wayne's definitely on drugs. Uh, well, he looks older than he really is. That's also true. But that, um, you know, but, but Lil Wayne still can do two things. He's still relevant. He still has a shitload of money. Didn't he just like sell his masters for like $100 million or something like that? He's worth $150 million bucks. And the sisters who are over there roasting him on Lipstick Alley, ain't worth $150, probably. See, it, we gotta understand. Now, don't get me wrong. Having game is good. Having um, standards is good. That's great. Having a lot of money, <laughs> it's also very good, right? Let's just be honest. Money money rules when, when certain things just don't. And the question is, in my opinion, why isn't Lil Wayne dealing with black women, okay? That's my question. Because see, here's the situation. You see a lot of the body positive chicks like Lizzo complaining and stuff like that. But for me, if I had a little Wayne's money, hell, I don't have his money now and I wouldn't date Denise Bida. But there are black men out there who have money and when they date women that are not black, they seem to date women who are, in my opinion, not all the time. But I know a lot of high value black men that are with like non black women and those women are not necessarily that good looking sub subpar looking at best. Some of them are knockouts, but, but rarely, you know, the guy is very educated and the woman that he's dealing with is not so good. In other words, I think a, a, a average looking white woman has a better chance of getting a high value black man than getting a high value white man. Here's what no one wants to talk about. Is he with her for her looks? Now, obviously little Wayne does like BBW women. But it could be a situation where he believes that he is, she's treating him very nice. All right. Now, I'm not trying to say that black women don't treat you nice. Because, I man, listen, some of the, the best relationships I ever had, you know, with like at least three black women, they treated me so good. And I met, I, you know, I messed it up being a nigga. Okay. So, I mean, every brother has relationships like that. So it wasn't, you know, well, you know, this is this case and this is not the case could be the case with little Wayne but some black men and I've experienced this also where you know you feel like you're not getting um a lot of the the respect that you need and a lot of times you have some black men I'm not saying myself some brothers you know if they were to deal with white women they feel like there's some intangibles that some sisters just don't have okay and once they culturally get involved with that, it's hard to give it up. For example, you guys know you have those brothers that's going to Colombia. You got those brothers going to Mexico. 
You got those brothers going to Dominican Republic. Those brothers living overseas. Or those brothers, you know, that's in the States dealing with white women. On average, you know, outside of the guys who are in real relationships, I'm not talking about the guys who are, you know, booty clap yourself. You know, paying to play and all that. I'm talking about guys who are real, really with real ladies. I'm, I mean, they're not beauty queens, you know? Um, and it, but, but, but men are not looking for just looks alone. And I think that's something that a lot of women don't understand. I think a guy like Lil Wayne, he's had so many good looking women, so many different chicks that, you know, he's looking for a woman that has some other intangibles. And maybe for him, he don't, maybe for him, it's, it's not with somebody from the African American community. Now I heard Lil Wayne talk about certain things before, like he never experienced racism. So Lil Wayne's also could be, you know, on that buffoon kind of stuff too. But I do know that, that, that there are a lot of black men out there who, in my opinion, are dating white women, non-black women, you know, guys who are hardworking, who are not exceptionally beautiful. And you would look at them and be like, well, why is he with her? I think I can tell you why he's with her. He's with her because he feels that she has tangibles. Whereas if he were to stay with someone that was the same size in the black community, it would be less of a chance. All right. And you do have guys who are, who, who are, um, high earning who like bigger women. Well, why is he not with Lizzo? Bruh. Right. And I think that the reason why Lizzo is and women who are BBWs, obviously Denise is much smaller than her, but my, 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 my opinion is this Lizzo is going to have a problem because she don't want to compromise on anything in these relationships. She is a BB that she is a bigger woman, but I think that she's the kind of woman that says like, accept me as I am. Whereas some of these other women out there that are dealing with black men are more willing to compromise, are more willing to try to come to the table with something are more willing to be more appreciative. Okay. And I think that's what a lot of guys are talking about. You know, a lot of black men like Lil Wayne can't come out and say that because if he comes out and say it, then y'all are cancel him. So he just goes out and do it. And then you guys go over to these little blogs and you, you clown him and all this stuff. But until you start asking black men, why are black men dating other races of women besides, you know, and, I, and, I, and I'm talking about the black men who are respectful, not putting down black women, but just dirt dating someone else. Then I think that we can really solve the problem. Now, I'm, 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 I think this is really, really being honest. There are a lot of black men who prefer to stay with black women and would like to, but find that they, that they have lost confidence in dealing with sisters. Okay. Not everybody's going to be pro black like me or George Macon and just tough it out until they get the, the black woman that, you know, of their choice. Not every brother's going to do that. All right. And I, and if you can listen to, you know, all these shows, Kevin Samuels every night, I think there's some, there's some evidence that there is a lot of black male frustration in the black community in Dayton, but nobody wants to listen to it. So then what happens is they just go out and marry somebody you know, you clown them because you think that they're too fat or they don't look as good. And, and this is what you end up getting. All right. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell, check out the first company to the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I'm out. Thank you.